Hey guys, Jamie Bond, Fish Blue Water. Thanks for joining us. We've got a great uh, tips and tricks rigging video for you today, uh, kind of circulating around sword fishing. So whether you're interested in getting offshore at night and nighttime sword fishing or doing the daytime thing, uh, squid is one of the primary baits. They're feeding on these guys all the time. So knowing how to properly rig a squid bait uh, is key. And we're gonna show you how to do that here today. show you a quick and easy way uh, to rig a sword squid for nighttime sword fishing. We're gonna fish you know a mix of baits when we do this live and dead. On the live bait side it'll probably be blue runners and goggle eyes things of that nature but I absolutely love a fresh squid off your balloon baits fishing down in that current just floating around. Hard to beat it uh, when you're out there playing around with the nighttime swords. So, First thing we gotta do is I'm gonna pull off about eight feet, this 300 pound leader material. So I've got my leader material there. Next thing I gotta do is get this hook in the squid so we can attach the leader to the hook and be ready to roll. As you can see here, this is a really nice size squid. I don't know, probably about 16 inches or so. Fresh, which is super important. And what I'm gonna do here is take this hook, the mantle of the squid and up in the beak, I'm just gonna look basically at where I wanna be for the eye of that hook to be riding right up in the head, the beak of that squid. And then I, once I figure out where that's at, just mark it with my finger, take the barb of my hook, just gonna make a little incision there so I can get the eye of this hook up in there. Once I've done that, I'm gonna take the hook, there we go. Push it down right in there. Now I've got the eye sitting there like so. Now, all I need to take do is take this leader material that I just cut and go right through the squid like so. Grab one of those crimps. I'm going to come down. Just like so. Take the tag end my leader material on the other side. Back through that crimp. And I'm gonna bring it down just above the mantle, the head of that squid. Now all I gotta do, take the crimpers that we just had a moment ago. One crimp. Two crimps. Voila, you have it, squid ready to fish. Now, for the last step, I don't actually have here with me. Stand by, I'll grab my needle, we'll stitch that together and we'll be all done. All right, so found my needle that I forgot to bring. We've got my wax floss. I'm gonna go through the eye of the squid and I'm gonna come out through the side of the bait. 
like so. And I'm just basically gonna take that floss. I'm doing overhand double half hitch, like so. Take it, cinch it down like that. We're good to go. On one side, I'll do the same thing on the other side. This is just really, you know, they say it's all about the details and this is really what that's all about. It's just trying to go the extra step just to make sure that you really try not to leave anything to chance. I mean, for me, I know that a lot of this really just comes down to a level of confidence that I want to have when I put my baits in the water, when I'm fishing, whatever, that everything is right. Whether you're fun fishing or tournament fishing, it really shouldn't matter. There we go, got that. Now you can see, we've really, we've sucked that head up and a little tighter. We've tightened up the connection on both sides. We've got a pretty hook placement center of that bait. I mean, this bait's just gonna fish beautifully. I mean, just imagine that, just sitting there floating and drifting through the water. If I was a swordfish, I know I would eat it. So hopefully my premonition is correct. And uh, we're gonna get tight for you on a future nighttime sword fishing video. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that how-to on rigging a squid bait for sword fishing daytime or night. Uh, I happen to be getting ready for a future nighttime sword fishing trip. So in the next video, we're gonna show you guys how we set up the gear and specifically uh, rig up a rod for the nighttime sword fishing that we're about to do. So stay tuned and we'll have another exciting video coming your way.